leaders in emerging economies must commit to reaching net zero as close as possible to 2050, and again, the limit they should all aim to respect. A number have already made the 2050 commitment. And this is the moment for all G20 members to come together in a joint effort, pooling their resources and scientific capacities, as well as their proven and affordable technologies through the public and private sectors to make carbon neutrality a reality by 2050. Every country must be part of the solution. At the same time, we need to seize the opportunity to invest in credible innovations that can contribute to reaching our global targets. We must also speed up efforts to deliver climate justice to those on the front lines of many crises, none of them they caused. We can do this by safeguarding the most vulnerable communities and scaling up finance and capacities for adaptation and loss and damage. Promoting reforms to ensure multilateral development banks provide more grants and concessional loans and fully mobilize private finance. Delivering on the financial commitments made in Copenhagen, Paris and Glasgow. Replenishing the Green Climate Fund this year and developing a roadmap to double adaptation finance before 2025. Protecting everyone with early warning systems against natural disasters in four years. Implementing the new loss and damage fund this year. The longer we wait on any of these crucial issues, the harder it will become.